in the pandemic major changes were seen in various domains and education was not at all an exception prior to pandemic there used to be two separate styles of imparting education one was called as on site where face to face education was considered and other was online where virtual education was imparted however in pandemic we saw that the line between these two got vanished completely and everyone was teaching online therefore when we discussed the outline for the course designing learner centric moocs we thought that we should start with a discussion about online teaching per se and the emergency remote teaching which was coined during the pandemic was a basis of this discussion we have invited panelists from multiple domains in order to discuss this topic and they will not only represent their own course or subject that they are talking but they will rather represent a larger domain and a community of teachers who teach those subjects that will help us in understanding the challenges and the solutions that were designed by the teachers during offering online courses of the infamous pandemic period so let's just get going we have panelists here who will represent multiple domains i have vipul mishra here who will uh, represent the science and technology domain neelam panchal who will represent the commerce and management domain and i also have mansi kanetkar who will represent the humanities and design domain so let us just get going with the first question which is the comments or observations during what exactly happened during the emergency remote teaching period of the pandemic so vipul can you just tell us about what was the perception of the science and technology teachers during this period so when pandemic starts then sudden lockdown came into the picture and immediately we found there was one of the biggest challenge that is the digital division so we we all know we have two different sections like urban and rural sections so urban sections we have somehow some digital facilities available but if we talk about rural sections then there are very very less facility for the digital education so that was one of the biggest challenge how to fill this digital division then another big challenge from science domain that is the how to convert this online board teaching white board teaching into the digital era specifically when we talk about writing the maths specifically when we talk about the physics how we do those experiments which required physical entities so in that way it will become very very big challenge for us to make those prob- to handle those problems i am sure uh, people from the teachers from commerce and management also faced different challenges so neelam can you just tell us about what was your experience yes sir so just like science and technology as vipul ji just mentioned technology was also challenging here in commerce and management in fact there were many teachers who were in dilemma for not having awareness of the options available specifically if we talk about the subjects like accounting statistics finance economics where uh, you know some calculations are required and students are like they have to learn while doing so learning while doing it was a major major challenge another important point was the white board right so how to write in a board how to use the digital writing on a board itself was a challenge so that was one of the important aspect at that time sir yes i think uh, our exposure to technology and availability of uh, technology and the digital divide that was just mentioned is definitely a common thing which runs through uh, but let us also hear it from the design Uh, which is a very hands on thing and also humanities so uh, mansi can you elaborate uh, challenges in that domain sure so as pointed by my esteemed colleagues we also faced a problem about uh, 
teachers awareness about tools and technology some of the seniors especially as well as uh, uh, courses that expected learning by doing especially uh, for for example let's uh, talk about a course that imparts knowledge about politics it requires an open ended discussion and interaction between the students as well as with the teacher you have to curate that which got worst hit and students were extremely hes hesitant to participate both in design as well as humanity classes where interactions are very important even if we were able to encourage them to participate in such interactions uh, there were connection issues poor lighting issues sound issues etc so uh, that got the worst affected yeah yes so i think we we hear from various teachers that the challenges were uh, ranging from technology to pedagogy but it is also important at this point to know what was the challenge or challenges that were faced by the learners so um, i would now like the teachers here to step into the shoes of their learners and tell us what was kind of uh, what was coming out from the learner side which uh, could have been documented now so maybe uh, vipul can we uh, can we know what were the challenges of the science and technology learners during this period so while we talk about the learner side one of the biggest problem when we uh, look into the learner side the practical learning because the science and technology is more on the hands on it's nothing only theory comes into the picture until unless hands on's not into the picture it's very difficult to feel it specifically when we talk about electrical if we talk about mechanical if we talk about uh physics so these all are the hands on things so practically learning is very very challenging at that moment is another challenge was come into the picture that is the social factor that suddenly students separated from their friends suddenly students separated from their classes so the excitement of the class was almost yes. nullify that was the biggest challenge that student face at that moment so going in remote uh, places like uh, joining in from their own mobile phones or uh, devices and not being part of the class physically yes definitely uh, that we all have experienced uh, was there anything to add on to this in the domain of uh, commerce and management yes sir. so uh, when we are seeing again commerce and management so generally students used to use their phones right and so the classes spanning long hours fatic especially when we are talking about organization behaviors or the economics or the general management where the games role plays exercises and the other pedagogies were used in the offline but when it become online then uh, it was like content was chunk and additionally the attendance was given when the task were completed and on the basis of the completion only and uh, in fact there were instances of the students assisting teachers moderately in using of the technology so that was uh, one of the major major uh, important aspect here yes i think uh, that's a very interesting point where students were slightly ahead in usage of technology and uh, that was kind of offered as a help to uh, the teachers so uh, if we go to a very hands on domain like design where uh, drawing or creating sketches all these make uh, constitute a big part of learning so was there anything that you found uh, different uh, from the learners perspective as such so uh, initially i would like to say that uh, students hated online learning practically because uh, the interaction between the teacher and students in a design class is very different there is a subjective sort of feedback that the teacher live feedback that the teacher can provide to the students which did not happen also uh, online consumption was very tiresome at uh, at 4 o'clock 5 o'clock they would say that we can't look at the screen anymore as well as uh, so to avoid this uh, continuous interaction we started using asynchronous chats we also sent some uh, online tutorials or reading material which students can consume at their own speed rather than you know consuming it in the class especially like demos of certain um, um, techniques that that's what we started doing later on then yes so uh, as we saw throughout the 
various domains there are multiple challenges that are faced both by the instructors as well as the learners and they can be easily slotted between a uh, couple of uh, strategies or categories such as uh, technology driven challenges and pedagogy driven challenges therefore we would be discussing multiple solutions about this in the course that is starting up which is about designing learner centric moocs